Hello everyone. In this video, I explain how to write the fraction as a partial when the denominator contains a quadratic cannot be factorized. First, let, we, let us we see the difference between quadratic factor which can be factorized and the quadratic factor which cannot be factorized. Let us we see that example. In that example, it's a press 2x squared plus 3 over x minus 1, x squared plus 2x minus 8 as a partial fraction. And the same express 2x squared plus 3 over x minus 1, x squared plus 2x plus 7 as a partial fraction. How to decide the quadratic can be factorized or cannot? We use the calculator to factorize. So let us restart. So the solution of this one. We try to factorize by using the calculator. Mod 5, 3. So 1 equal 2 equal negative 8 equal equal. So this denominator can be factorized. So we solve it. 2x squared plus 3 over x minus 1 bracket. x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 2x squared plus 3 over x minus 1 now, when we factorize this, it will be x minus 2. So, x minus 2, x plus 4. So, this denominator can be factorized. Let 2x squared plus 3 over x minus 1, bracket, x minus 2, x plus 4, equals a over x minus 1 plus b over x minus 2 plus c over x plus 4. The first sentence, we write the identity sentence. So, we take the numerator 2x squared plus 3 and compare the denominator. So, x minus 1 already exists, so we take the other two brackets beside a. It means multiply up and down by x minus 2, x plus 4. So we rewrite this as uh, 2, we write the uh, identity sentence, x plus 3 equals identity. A multiply. So we write the other two brackets, x minus 2, bracket, x plus 4, plus b. By comparing the two denominators, x minus 2 exists, so we write the other two brackets, x minus 1, so b multiply x minus 1 bracket x plus 4 plus c by comparison x plus 4 exists so we write the other two uh, brackets x minus 1 x minus 2 now we can use any of the two ways by uh, putting x for example if we need to cancel b and c we check what is the common bracket x minus 1, x minus 1, so we can say let x equals 1 to cancel b and c, so to get a. Or we can use cover up method. So I use cover up method because it's a quick method. By using cover up method, equate the denominator by 0, so x minus 1 equals 0, so x minus 1 equals 0, so x equals 1. Then we can get the value of a by using cover up method. Replace x by 1 except the, 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 this bracket. So it's 2, bracket, 1 squared plus 3, down it's 1 minus 2, bracket, 1 plus 4. We use the calculator to get that. The value of a by using the calculator is negative 1. So a equals negative 1. We do the same way to get the value of b by using the cover-up method. By using cover-up method, we equate the denominator of b by 0, x minus 2 equals 0. So x equals 2. So replace x by 2. So the value of b by using cover up method, replace x by 2 except this bracket. So it's 2 bracket 2 squared plus 3 over 2 minus 1. Don't put 2 here because it will be 0 and you cannot divide by 0. 2 plus 4. The value of b by using cover up method is 11 over 6. So the value of b is 11 over 6. We now we can use 
the same way cover up method to get the value of c. So the value of c by using cover up method equate the denominator by zero, x plus four equals zero, so x equals a negative four. So the value of c equals. Replace x by negative four except this bracket. So two bracket negative four squared plus down, it's negative four minus one, negative four minus two. The value of C by using calculator, it will be seven over six. So the value of C equals seven over six. Now we can write the fraction as a partial. The final answer is we go back and we write the given, it's two X squared plus three over X minus one bracket X squared plus 2x minus 8 equals a. What was the value of a? a negative 1. So it's better to write it in this form. Negative 1 over x minus 1. Plus b. b is 11 over 6. So we write this as 11 over 6. And then we write the bracket down x minus 2. Plus c. c is 7 over 6. So we write plus 7 over 6. Okay? Bracket x plus 4. Now we go to the other example. Look at this example. 2x squared plus 3 expressed to x squared plus 3 over x minus 1, x squared plus 2x plus 7. Now we check by using calculator. Is that quadratic? Can be factorized or cannot? We use the calculator. Mod 5, 3. Right. 1 equal, 2 equal, 7 equal. So we give us no real roots or i. i it means it cannot be factorized. So how to solve this fraction when the denominator cannot be factorized? So we say the solution is that let 2x squared plus 3 over x minus 1 bracket x squared plus 2x plus 7 equals x minus 1, it is of power 1. So the numerator power 1, so the numerator power 0, it means 1. So there is no x in the numerator. So we write down x minus 1 and up it's a. a, it means a multiply x power 0. So the numerator must be 1 less than the degree of the denominator. Now, the second denominator is of second degree, uh, the second bracket. x squared plus 2x, it is of second degree. So the numerator must be of first degree. So down it's x squared plus 2x plus 7 the numerator it will be bx plus c it must be power 1 because the denominator power 2 now we need to get the values of a b and c before anything we have to write the identity sentence the identity sentence is that 2x squared plus 3 equal identity because they are two uh, uh, fractions, so we can use this Caesar's method. It's a multiply x squared plus 2x plus 7. Plus this bracket is bx plus c multiply x minus 1. So we can get a by using the cover up method. So by using cover up method, Replace x by, un, uh, by zero except by one except the first bracket. So it's two multiply one squared plus three over one squared plus two times one plus seven. We use the calculator to get this back. The value of a is half. So a equals half. Now we need to get the value of b and c. We use equating coefficient. It's better to equate the highest coefficient and the constant. Don't equate uh, x because uh, the coefficient of x, we need to expand all the brackets. So equate the coefficients of highest power, x squared. So we write equate coefficient of x squared. Equate coefficient of x squared. Now, in the left side, the coefficient of x squared is 2. In the right side, we have here a times x squared, so it's a x squared. So the coefficient of x squared is a. And this one, bx times x, it's b 
x squared. So we have a plus b in the right side. So in the left side, it's 2. In the right side, it's a plus b. Already we got the value of a before. It was half. So 2 equals half plus b. Move half to the other side. 2 minus half equals b. 2 minus half, it is 1 uh, and half or 3 over 2. So the value of b in this part, it's 3 over 2. So the value of b is 3 over 2. Now we need to get the value of c. To get the value of c, equate uh, the constant terms in both sides. So we write, equate the constant terms. The constant terms in both sides. In this side, in the, le in the left side, it is 3. So we write 3. This is the constant term. Constant term, it means it's 3 from x, has no x. In the right side, we have here a multiplied by 7. It is 7a. And in this, in this bracket, c times negative 1, it's negative c. So the constant term is negative c also. So 3 equals 7a minus c. Already we got the value of a before it was half. Just replace a by half. So 3 equals 7 multiplied by half minus c. So 3 equals 7 times half, it's 7 over 2 minus c. What we do, rearrange the equation. So c equals 7 over 2 minus 3. We use the calculator to get the value. The value of c by using the calculator, it is half. So the value of c is half. Now we write the final step. The last step of the solution, we go back, we write the fraction given. So 2x squared plus 3 over x minus 1 bracket x squared plus 2x plus 7 equals a. The value of a is half. So we write it in this form. 1 over 2x minus 1 plus bx plus c. The value of b is 3 over 2. So it is 3 over 2x plus c. c also is half. Over x squared plus 2x plus 7. This is the answer. But it's better to simplify that answer. How to simplify? Multiply up and down by 2. So to cancel the fraction. So the final answer in simplest form is 1 over 2 bracket x minus 1 plus so this uh, numerator, when we multiply by 2, we cancel this 2, so it's 3x plus 1, 2 times half it's 1. Down, we have to write this 2. So it's a 2, multiply x squared plus 2x plus 7. Thank you.